Hey y'all, Mr. It Matter here. Okay, so I looked at all of y'all's responses from our Friday's student work where you asked, how, where I asked how do readers choose books? Like how do real readers choose books? And I made a word cloud based on a lot of y'all's answers. Um, I included some of the most popular answers as well as some of the very rebellious answers. I like some of y'all's thinking there. We're gonna talk about that real quick. Okay, so the bigger the word is, the more common I saw it in y'all's responses. So some of the ways readers choose books that you guys probably already know and are comfortable and familiar with, um, looking at some of the bigger words, read the back of the book. It's actually not called a summary. A summary would give the beginning, middle, and end, right? So it's actually called the teaser. You know, like how when you watch a movie, it gives you like a te or like when you go to the movies, like we used to back in the day. Um, how the trailer is basically like a teaser for what the movie's gonna be about. That's what that's called, it's called a teaser. So you'd read the teaser on the back. Maybe it, you got a recommendation from a librarian, from a teacher, from a friend, um, or you saw something cool online about how cool a book was. Um, let's see, by genre. So if you know you like fantasy, you know you like nonfiction, or you like suspense and horror, um, you like to be scared, so you go look for those books. Read the first few pages to see if you like it. Um, other ones that I saw were watch book trailers. Maybe the cover looks awesome. I was so happy to see how many of you guys said the cover looks awesome. Because growing up, I was always taught never judge a book by its cover, but let's be honest, we usually do. The cool thing is, a lot of times book recommendations can override that. So if you watch a cool trailer or somebody else tells you a book is really cool, but the cover looks really, really lame, sometimes you can still find a really good book. Um, that's usually how I get past the lame covers because some of them are lame. Let's be honest, I don't usually pick those up. I didn't say that, you heard nothing. Um, okay, so some of the other ones we saw, uh, people go look at online ratings on Amazon or Goodreads or just type it into the Google search. They wanna know what the online reviews look like. Um, Okay, now we're getting a little bit more rebellious here. I had one person tell me that they read the very last page. You know who you are. You know what, whatever floats your boat. I couldn't do that because I don't wanna spoil it. If it's a really good book, but you do you, boo. That's one way to choose books. Um, I had one very real person tell me, uh, a lot of times I just wanna read a shorter book. Guys, is it okay to choose a book that's shorter if you're looking for a shorter book? Well, yeah. I don't always have the stamina or the time or the energy to read some some giant book. Sometimes I just wanna give my brain a break or I just want a shorter story. I just wanna want it to be a little bit easier. Um, that's absolutely okay. Um, let's see, you could also read a random page, open it up and see if you like it. It's on a topic you like, like if it's nonfiction, you're into World War II or maybe the Persian Empire. Um, if you see a display or a poster, like in a library or in a bookstore, I love the person that said this, that the book looks easier. I love the person that said, you know who you are too. Um, I love that you said that because sometimes when books have like little bitty font and the pages are really thin, like tissue paper, and the font goes all the way out to the margins, I might look at that and be like, mm, this does not look interesting enough for me to have to sit through that business. So absolutely on looks easier. That's not always what I want, but it's definitely what I want sometimes. What it looks like inside and if it has pictures. Yes, yes, and yes. I read a graphic novel probably once a week or once every other week. Um, if I'm in a graphic novel mood and it looks like this is gonna be a graphic novel and I flip through it and it's all words, there's no pictures, I don't wanna read it. I wanna read it if it's a graphic novel because that's what I'm in the mood for, that's what I like. Um, what it looks like inside, we talked about the font and stuff. Look at the date published, uh, reread a book that you, that you liked from a year before. Um, the cover looks interesting, oh, we already talked that, um, an interesting title. So those are really good. Um, two shout outs really fast. The shout out to the one person who all they told me was E. Um, I really want to know, I know you've been writing E on everything lately, but I really want to know, does it mean something? Another shout out to Vane. Um, I hope I'm saying your nickname right, um, for making me laugh out loud that yes, sometimes we all try to look for books and we start a book and then we fall asleep. Hey guys. If you start falling asleep in a book, uh, we probably need to find you a better book. That's also why we read for 10 minutes at a time and not longer because at first it's a little hard to just sit there and read. So, all right, see you guys later. Hopefully this will help you as you choose your books through your um, speed dating with a book today. All right, bye.